before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button and please like this video as well hello everybody welcome back to my channel today it is tuesday the 19th i think or the 20th of january and today i am vlogging because honestly i do not have anything to do and um, both my college calls have been cancelled today as my tutor is ill so that means that I want to try and film as many YouTube videos as I can today because I do not have anything else to do and I would be so bored otherwise I'd probably be eating too much food and um, lying around all day so I want to be productive today I've already filmed a YouTube video today Um here is a makeup a video um it will be going up soon i went for like a pinky eye look today and honestly i love like this eye look so much it makes my eyes pop and i've also got a new pair of eyelashes on the tiny lashes in tl6 for me ones but my, they are like huge but i love them so much like look at them they are super pretty so yes yeah, so, like i filmed have filmed a makeup video today so i've already filmed a video already and I will be about to film another video because I want to be feeling motivated and upload as much as I can. Also, I've got a new top on today. It's from H&M. It's um, a velvet, like, a ruched top and it is, like, a lovely pinky colour. £4 in the sale on H&M, everybody. Head over to H&M because they have so much nice clothes and like it's a uh, extra small i think and oh my god like it's so pretty the velvet material is so soft and i'm just obsessed with it i need pink as well which is just a bonus i woke up at around half nine today as i was expecting to have a college call and then i got an email saying that they were all cancelled so i was like i had to wake up a bit earlier so all right as well like have some breakfast have a shower in the shower i did use a lush shower bomb it was the plum one i never knew that they did the shower bombs and um, but i got a couple for my birthday i think and i used them and oh my god they were so good it had exfoliator in it and i'm like oh my god and my whole body is so smooth because i exfoliated in the shower and it was so nice and it felt so good but yeah um do i have anything else to say i don't actually know but i'm really feeling this makeup look today and i used a new the Doll Beauty highlighter in the shade uh, like a diamond. Honestly, Doll Beauty highlighter is kind of just so beautiful. And I also use an Urban Decay Sun Kiss bronzer, which is super nice. I love it so much. It's like a lovely bronzer. Very good. But yeah, I'm going to go and film a video now on my trusty Canon 1300D. Um, here it is. I want to get uh, like a newer camera because if you guys own a Canon 1300D, you guys will know that the autofocus it does not work on it so like i've had this camera for like a good few years and it doesn't have a viewfinder on it so like every time i want to focus i've got to like hold the object up and then i've got to focus it on my camera and double check and it takes forever to focus so um i've been having a look have some vlogging cameras but they're like 500 pounds for like a brand new one and i do not have a lot of money to just be splashing out on a brand new camera so i don't know what i'm gonna do like like it still works it's a great camera for like beginners and everything but i think it'd be nice to get an upgrade and, and a better quality camera for like a video in but we'll have to wait and see anyway i'm gonna go out and film a video because i'm just so bored and this lockdown is literally so boring who else agrees who else is finding lockdown really boring? It's just not good, is it? Ooh. This is the aftermath of filming a YouTube video. YouTube video complete. I did film her favourite video, in case you're wondering, and here I have all my favourites at the minute. A lot of room sprays, a candle, a lot of makeup, you know. The usual, fake tan, because I love my fake tan, even though... I must pay this anything at the minute because I don't have any tan on my face, but I want to show you guys something. So from ASOS, I did actually order a top. So on ASOS, they actually sell the Topshop clothing items on there. And I found this top advertised on Facebook on ASOS. And 
I needed it in my life, so I ordered it. It was fourteen forty, and the retail price was twenty nine pounds. So I did get a good bargain. It is a green le leopard print, like square neck puff sleeve top and it kind of has a cut out on the tummy it, like it's a size six and oh my god i love it so much like the colors are lovely i don't actually have any green clothing items but this is absolutely beautiful and i had to get it i rarely ever order clothes online but i've been having a look on zara and the zara clothing at the minute like they have a massive sale on at zara in the minute and i literally have about about eight items in my basket but i want to save all my money in case anything happens you know what i mean but like zara have the best sale on at the minute um but yeah but anyway i'm gonna go and clean all this mess up because as you can tell it needs it needs um cleaned i have some exciting news to tell you all so i'm actually a brand ambassador for soho angels it's basically a clothing company and all their clothes are so cute i will put the screen recording of the website and so you can use my code i'll put my code on the screen anyway but you guys can get 10 percent off like all their clothing items honestly i want to get a load of the items for myself so i will make an order on there but yeah um i am brand ambassador which is quite exciting all their clothes are really cute though as well so you definitely need to check their website out if you like but um the weather outside is like awful so i won't be going on the walk today but i will be chilling as per usual i never do any workouts because honestly i do not have the effort to be doing that kind of stuff <laughs> especially in the house yesterday my mum did buy me some salted caramel galaxy chocolate and oh my lord it is unreal they've actually changed the packaging but it's so good and the caramel is like so salty but it's so good um it's really nice so i will be having that and also guys exciting news again <laughs> um i did actually try my first ever pot noodle the other day and oh my god i've i can't believe i've never had them earlier because they are so good i did have the chicken and mushroom one and then the day after I did have the original curry one and oh my god they are so good and like I am aware that they aren't the healthiest foods to eat but it's convenience food really but oh my god they are so good and I will be having them more often probably because a pot noodles are just so easy to make and so delicious so what are your guys' favourite flavour of pot noodles because I think mine could be the curry one I love the chicken one as well so I'm kind of like in between those two um but yeah, they're very good and very nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's a revelation for you all. At the age of 19, I tried my first ever pot noodle. Um, so yeah, happy days. <laughs> but oh my god, this eye makeup is so good. I love it. I'm going weird now, but yeah. I'm actually about to do my word search whilst I eat my chocolate because, you know, this is the life right now. I actually bought this word search from poundland in the first lockdown i think and honestly it's the best thing i've bought it's kept me occupied for like days on end i did a lot of these in the first lockdown and oh my god it's so f fun to do especially if you're bored it helps to take your mind off things so i recommend if you're bored in lockdown head over to poundland or bnm and buy yourself a word search because honestly you will be so grateful for it because like every time i've been bored like i've got this out and i've been doing them for like over an hour per day and it's so entertaining like it helps with your vocabulary as well it is educational in a way kind of but um yeah it's really good and it was only a pound and it's so cute as well i love the little hearts on it so i think i will go and do this for a little bit <laughs> been organizing this eyelash drawer because i'm not even joking like all my eyelashes were just like thrown in here there and everywhere and i've now organized it and look how dreamy this is i do have a lot of pair of eyelashes i am aware but i do sometimes do some makeup on clients so that's the reason why i do have a lot of eyelashes but look at this look how dreamy it is 
some tatty lashes, primer, peaches and cream, wispies. I've got some saucy eyelashes, a G, a W, A. I've got like a pinky go. I literally have so many in here, but I love these. How big are them ones? Have you seen them? They are massive, but this straw is really nice. I think I need to get another pot for my makeup brushes because as you can tell, I don't really have much space in there for the face brushes. I did get some new makeup brushes for Christmas, hence why some of them still have the plastic packaging on them, as you can see. But yeah, but I'm super happy with that. And then in the other drawer, I do have like skincare in here, so my everyday moisturiser, which is the Neutrogena one. A load of baby lips as I used to collect them when I was around 14, 15 years old. Who remembers when baby lips were in trend because they were literally what everyone used to collect back in the floral days also. Yes, an ambulance outside. <laughs> I do I live on a busy-ish road so there's like there's a lot of hospital vehicles that go past. Who remembers the days when everyone had like floral accounts and you support a, a lot of photos of the baby lips because i remember i used to have like a floral account and i used to post a lot of pictures of, i used to post like a lot of pictures of my makeup and everything and like perfumes and stuff <laughs> but yeah and then i do have her mario badescu silver powder Um, i got this in my stocking i am yet to use this but it's good for pulling out your blackheads which is what I need because my blackheads lately have been so big and they need to be removed out of my skin ASAP. I've also got another moisturiser. I will be giving this to Scott because I never use this and also his skin has been very dry and this will be perfect for his skin because it is like a lovely thick moisturiser which he will love and then I do have a lot of pore strips in here because as you will know I do have a very bad blackhead so I've got like a charcoal face mask because the charcoal is really good for like oily skin and blackheads and everything and spots I've got some like super drug face masks I've got a Primark pink clear one more Primark ones Sofa Glory face masks are the best by the way I've also got like a t-zone um charcoal peel off mask but when you peel this off your face it literally takes out all your facial hairs and it is it it does kill it is a killer and then underneath there i do have a mini what's this called a ketophil cleanser i want to try this actually i think i got this in a glossy box or something and then underneath there i just have a lot of lip balms so that is my other drawer I feel as if I'm filming like a mit like a, a makeup collection or something, but I'm not. <laughs> but I do have a lot of baby lips and to be honest, I rarely ever use them. I probably only use a couple, but a lot of them are like bright red and I don't want to be wearing a bright red a lip balm. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um here they all are. And then on there is all my perfumes and everything. But I love my desk. Just been taking some photos for Instagram. I think I'll try and post them tomorrow. Um, I'll put the photos on the screen now. There we go. Um, I want to try and post more on Instagram. Just because I feel as if I hardly ever post anymore, to be honest. So I want to get back on the Instagram game a little bit. And I'm trying to post... A different outfit if I can um I know it's quite hard like in lockdown and you look for places to take photos like I feel awkward taking photos in public to be honest but I want to try and get over that awkwardness if you know what I mean I do like taking photos but I usually forget to take them or I feel as if I look ugly some days like I feel as if some days you feel nice and then other days you just feel like a pure a dog crap do you know what i mean <laughs> uh, but i'm having a, a feel good day today so i thought that i would make the most of it film a lot of videos take photos for the gram you know all that um but yeah but the time is currently 20 past three and i have just been well taken photos as i said a few seconds ago um i've been watching some youtube 
have been doing some more word searches which is a very fun to do i recommend getting a word search book it's very good for your like brain and everything like that it's very good for helping you focus actually that's another good a benefit of having a what's it called a, a word search book um the tripods in the back because i will be filming a video probably soon um but yeah i've kind of had a productive kind of more of a day um i just feel a bit lost i think because the college was cancelled today and like a monday to wednesday are my kind of college days where i do all my work and everything but yeah so i kind of feel a bit like out of it a little bit but at least i've made the most of filming videos and everything but i want to actually sort out my designer drawer because it's a bit of a mess and i do have other things in there which i can't say it well i can say but i won't be able to show it on the vlog it's scott's birthday presents because his birthday when i'm filming this is in 12 or 11 days his birthday is the 31st of january he will be turning 20 he's turning into a big boy he won't be a teenager anymore but um i do have his presents underneath my bed where I will be sorting out all the designer items because that drawer underneath my bed is a bit of a mess and I know all these presents are taken up at most of the room as well but um god I just noticed I have a double chin oh my god this lockdown is making me put on weight that I've never been able to put on before like it's crazy look at that it's, you can see it it's like floating underneath oh my god help me guys <laughs> Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I want to make it organised, um, you know, hopefully it will be making a big order on Vova soon, I'm hoping so because I love filming Vova hauls because I feel as if I went and uploaded Vova haul and that is the time when all of my subscribers become really active on YouTube so I want to try and boost my audience retention on youtube that would really help my channel out because honestly my channel has just been going downhill since christmas really like it's just been going i've been losing a lot of subscribers lately i've been gaining subscribers and then losing them again it's a bit like it's just in a continuous cycle but yeah sometimes in case you're wondering i did use the be perfect carnival palette i did use like a a dark pinky shade it was like a pinky purpley shade and then i used a light a pink shade called makeup to blend it out and uh, it's really pretty eyes i love wearing like a pink eyeshadow and colorful eyeshadow but the thing is if they do stain your eyes after you take it off as i do use the garnier my cleansing water to take my makeup off and sometimes if you wear like a, a very pigmented eyeshadow it can stain your eyelids it's like crazy that isn't it but yeah i will try and show you my my little design and draw but obviously i can't show the whole draw just in case scott is watching this video which he probably will be because he's a true fan of my channel bless him right ring light on lights camera action also the camera battery is charged which is very exciting i'll be able to go and film video soon um oh i don't think i can yeah i can show a little bit of it but it's just a bit unorganized and there's just things um everywhere really here is this side of the drawer obviously i can't show that side of it because that's where scott's presents are but as you can tell i've just chucked everything in here here's my gorgeous dior handbag it is from Forva because obviously I can barely afford to buy a real Dior handbag because they're like two grand. But look how pretty it is. Super pretty. I've also got the strap for it. But it's a very long strap. So that's why I don't use it. A Louis Vuitton, um, like, pouch. Yep, yeah, that's what it's called. A dust bag, which I don't actually use. Which has got a horrible stain on it. Lovely. I do actually have a real um, a Michael Kors belt. Which I actually bought from tk Maxx a couple of years ago her gucci belt which i actually hate this belt so much because it look, like it looks so fake because the logo thing's massive but i like the white of it but like 
I'm not keen on that bit because it's massive. <laughs> It's always the buying fake designer items. I've got my little hats, some scarves, and then some other stuff. But I can't actually show anymore. <laughs> but I will be organising. I, I will be folding everything up and just um, making it neat and tidy, really. So, yeah. Here's the drawer. It's a lot more organised. I have all the scarves together, handbags together, all the belts together. And just so much better. So, thank God for that. Time to light a few candles. So the first one I'm going to burn is the cherry and vanilla Yankee candle. Um because it is a new fave of mine and I love it very much. So while that one is burning, I'm gonna go and find another one. I like to only have a couple of candles burn at a time. Has it actually buy her vanilla three week a candle from IKEA like a couple of weeks ago now and it's the best thing ever i'll just show you guys here it is look oh is that gonna even burn oh this is exciting oh it's not gonna burn okay final one look at that it smells incredible right everybody so it is a little bit less now, um, I'm about to go and edit a video on my laptop, as you guys can probably see in the background. Um, so I will be ending this vlog here, just because I, I will be filming another video tonight and it will be an evening routine, so like I don't want to vlog and then film an evening routine, if you know what I mean, at the same time. So I will be ending this vlog here, so we hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have, you know what to do please make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below please subscribe to my channel i would love to get to my goal of 4,000 subscribers by the end of april so please subscribe to make that happen and i will see you all in my next video bye everybody